Hi, I'm Oyami. Thanks for subscribing to my channel. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. I'll be starting to this episode with a story, something that happened to me personally. You know, 2016, I was posted to Edo State, Okada. And, you know, I met this guy in camp. And the first time he saw me, he fell in love. Like I was a fine girl, you know. <laughs> he bought food for me, he bought me different stuff. And, you know, we became two jolly friends. After a while, an unfortunate incident happened one day where a soldier decided to beat Tayo up because he did not leave Mami Market at the time he was expected to leave Mami Market and he beat him up. I'll continue the story in the course of this episode. But back to the right to respect the dignity of your person. Omoyami. What this simply means is that nobody has the right to subject you to torture. Nobody has the right to subject you to any form of inhumane treatment or degrading treatment. At this point, I would actually like to point out that the government seems to be violating the right of its citizens. How do I mean? Omoyami, if you are arrested today, and the police will need to need you to sleep over in their cell tonight. Can you? The reason is because the cells are not conducive. And being an innocent person, will he not be subjecting you to inhumane or degraded treatment if you sleep over in that kind of cell? I think you should talk to your government whenever you have the opportunity to. You need better cells. Omoyami. Another thing you need to bear in mind is that this same law guarantees you that you will not be subjected to any form of slavery or forced labor. Now, for the forced labor, there are a few exceptions. And one of the exceptions is that if you have joined the police and you have joined the military, in the course of your duty or your training, if you are subjected to some form of forced labor, it will not be said that your right has been violated. If a judge has pronounced and said, you are hereby sentenced to three years imprisonment with hard labor, Omoyami, that labor will not be said that your right has been violated, oh. Omoyami. Another instance where it will not be said that your right is violated as it relates to forced labor is if an act of the National Assembly mandates you to do a certain thing. An instance is the NYC. The reason you are compulsorily going for NYC after you graduate is because an act of the National Assembly says so. Now, if there's a form of forced labor while you are observing your NYC, it may not be said that your rights has been violated. You should note, however, that there's a huge difference between forced labor and torture, inhumane treatment, or degrading treatment. Back to my story. Now, we wrote to the authorities of NYC and they exempted my friend from all camp activities until he regains his strength. My guy did not regain his strength until he finished NYC. Meanwhile, the law that represented him was on parade ground and was doing all the forced labor in NYC camp. Omoyami, you should know that you have a remedy if you believe that your right has been violated. I will not be sharing that remedy with you now, but I will in the course of this series. In the meantime, do ensure that you do not stay far away from your lawyer. I'll see you next week. Peace.